unreal. You know, the journey from Australia coming over here has been a super long one. Um, so coming into Hard Rock to play the last game for Miami is definitely going to be probably a little emotional, but at the same time, I'm excited, you know, for the next chapter of my life as well. But, yeah, the main thing is just to finish strong, um, beat Pittsburgh and get bowl eligible. Our next question for Lou comes from David Wilson of the Miami Herald. David? Hey, well, i got a couple quick ones for you. Just first one, I mean, you're obviously one of the, one of the older guys in college football. You probably could have a couple, yeah, at any point in the last couple of years left and seen if you could make it in the NFL and stuff like that. I'm uh, just kind of curious, what, what, what kept you coming back here in Miami year after year? Um, well, I definitely wanted a three years. So that was the plan coming to Miami. I wanted to go through the three years, get a, you know, get a degree. Um, they got towards the end of last year and, I was a little banged up and needed to – I had surgery on my leg, on my kicking leg, so I got that done early. So, uh, you know, got that sorted and so I could feel 100% coming out this year because, you know what I mean, it, you know, when you're coming out, trying out for the NFL, you want your body to be 100% and that's where I'm at now. So I'm really glad I stayed and I also got to complete my Masters as well, which I'll graduate in December, so it worked out really well. What did you get your Masters in? Uh, I got my Masters with Liberal Studies. Gotcha. Um, and then also, you know, I've, I've got to ask everyone about this, but, you know, these senior – the seniors who were playing their last game here, uh, some of them have been here for three coaches. You obviously have been here for two. Um, no, not, I don't want to like make you guys like talk bad about old coaches, but just what, 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 what has changed most, do you think, since the day you got to campus to now? Um, I take, you know, every, every game at a time, you know what I mean? It's, for me, I just, I don't see too much of it. I just, you know, focus on myself and, you know, getting ready for the next game. I know we've had a couple coaches and all that while I've been here, but the main thing is just winning. Um, you know, I just want to win football games just like everyone else, and that's kind of what we're looking forward to this week. Next, we'll go to Susan Miller, diving into the Miami Herald. Susan? Hey, Lou. I'm doing a story on uh, on Clay James. And, yes. And um, he said you guys are roommates. Uh, I, just, I just wanted to know how important he is to this program and and his contributions what kind of guy he is um yeah he's uh you know he's one of the best human beings i've ever been around um he obviously he's a really good snapper too he's uh you know he's performed really highly the last three years i've been here so it's been great having him as my long snapper over the last three years but his off the field stuff is amazing too you know he does more than anyone else you know on the team he's, he's always running around in his own time helping out the community so clay's a absolute start and um you know he'll be he'll be missed as well and uh, my follow is uh, how i asked a few guys this but how fast has it gone for you you know that since you've arrived on campus and now is it like a blink of an eye or what's what's the experience been like as far as you know uh, yeah i think looking back on it um i think 2019 was my first year so looking back on you know thinking of my first year it's definitely gone by quick um i've had a very enjoyable time here I um, mean, you know, I loved every moment of it. It's been surreal the whole time. So I never get used to playing here in Miami from where I come from. So it's definitely going to be surreal coming out this this week for my last game. But like I said, we just need to focus on beating Pittsburgh and, um, you know, head to a bowl round. Okay, thank you. Next, we'll go to Man- Manny Navarro from The Athletic. Manny? Hey, Lou, how are you? Congrats on uh, a great career at Miami. Um, you know, there's there's a lot of Aussie kickers now in, in college football. I, I think when you first started, you were maybe one of ten, and it feels like maybe there's forty or fifty now. Just wanted to ask you about that fraternity, and and as you leave college football, like how strong is it? I mean, do you guys still call each other up, talk talk about punting, kicking, those kind of things? Uh, yeah, it's good. You know, some of them are drifted into the NFL now as well, so you got a few in the NFL, and obviously a lot in college. So it's definitely good. You know, um, it seems like we're playing. You know, I'm playing another Australian punter every second week or something, but it's always good we can call them up. And, you know, Pro Kick Australia is the academy that kind of gets the boys over here. But, yeah, I think, um, you know, when I started, there wasn't as many. There's still a lot. But, you know, if if I'm if someone sees me in Australia doing what I'm doing and it makes them kind of give this, an, give this a chance and come over and do what I'm doing, I mean, that's great. So the more Aussies that come over here and change their life, the better. It's been, it's been really good. Thank you. We'll do a couple more for Lou. Next, we'll go to Marcus Benjamin from Canes County. Marcus? Hey, Lou. Just wanted to ask about uh, being a semi-finalist for the Ray Guy Award. It just uh, what, what that award uh, really means should you should you win it for the university. Um, yeah, it's always good to get, you know, recognition. But, you know, that's a testament to the whole punt team. You know what I mean? Kind of the coverage team. The shield, Clay, snapping it back to me. So, 
that's a that's a team award. I feel like everyone goes out there and busts their butt. You know, on punt, you know, defensive players, offensive players, you know, everyone plays a role. Um, and you know, you get to this point of the year and those awards and you know, semi finalists, it's always nice. But yeah, just looking forward to getting out there for pit. That's the main uh, focus this week, and you know, hopefully beating pit. We'll wrap up for Lou with Azubi Charles from Kane Sport. Azubi. Hey, Lou, just wanted to ask, you know, throughout your time in Miami, what's been your favorite part about, you know, being a Hurricane then? I just think the uh, connections I've made here. There's a lot of people throughout the last four years. I've met some really amazing people. Hopefully, um, you know, uh, that will give me opportunities uh, after football, after my football playing days, which is, I hope, is a little while away yet. But, you know, just I wish... Um, you know, after after my football days to come back here and maybe work, you know, in the program. So, yeah, just the connections. I mean, I love Miami as a city. The weather's amazing. Um, yeah, it's been a dream coming here. And, yeah, it doesn't get old. never gets old. It's been great. Lou, thanks for your time today and good luck on Saturday. Thank you.